This question looks a little bit confusing at first. There, there are so many, so many points here. Let's read it and let's pay attention to the word equidistant, equidistant. So in the figure below, ray EF. So what's that? I'll, I'll mark that in black. It's an arrow that would go on into infinity. But here's, here's point F marked on that line. EF, okay. From rays ED and EG. Now ED is this one over here on the left and EG is this one over here on the right. And then what are we told? I'll switch colors here. By using a compass, D and G were marked equidistant. That means equal distance. So the point D and G. So here's point D. I'll write this distance in blue here from E to D. And from E to G, same distance, same distance, equidistant from point E, both of them. So that's a big piece of information. The second thing, compass was then used to locate a point F distinct from E. So F is, is a different point from E. So that, this is important, F, F is also equidistant. F is also an equidistance, the same distance from D and G. So let's write that out, from D and G. So the distance from F to D and the distance from F to G are also the same. Well, if that's true, then what do we have here? We have two triangles that are the same thing. We have two triangles that are the same thing. They have this big black side in common. And one triangle is just a flipped over version of the other triangle. But the triangles are the same. And these angles are the same. These angles are the same. So now, question for all constructions defined by the above steps. The measures of DEF, that's our little one down here. And GEF, that's the one right next to it. The answer is they are the same. They are equal to each other. Hope that made sense. If it did, please click the like button, share it with your friends, subscribe to the channel, and be sure to hit the bell next to the subscribe button so you'll get alerts every time we post a new video. See you in the next lesson.